So we recently got some um, security cameras installed, and I've basically become the neighborhood busybody, just like watching every single feed, seeing all the neighbors doing everything they do. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, I'm going to be standing out on the porch asking the neighbors, so how's this going on? They're like, how do you know about that? I'm like, saw it on my security camera. They're like, you mean your eyeballs when you're sitting on the porch looking at us? Yeah, sometimes at night when I go to close the blinds, I can see the neighbors and what they're watching on TV. Hello and welcome to Rocket to Anywhere, the show whose hosts are confused by Roman numerals. I'm Corban. And I'm Sophia Garcia. Yes. Again. Always forgetting the last name. Yep. This week we're going to be talking about some of our favorite old timey-wimey TV shows. Plus normal stuff like jokes and thought of the week and a word from Sophia, actually. Yep. But first, we have a bit of follow-up. Uh, last week we said we were going to be talking about Paddington 2... Apparently, no theaters in our area are not, are just, they're not showing it anymore. So we'll be going to see that, you know, probably at the Dollar Theater when it comes out there, but we won't be talking about it. The Ox Cable, our rival podcast, is back in production. Uh, We were trying to keep up, my my whole thing with them was, um, we were always like two episodes ahead of them. We always had two more episodes than they did, but now they're going to catch up with us again because we're on a bi-weekly schedule and they're on a weekly schedule. Also, when this comes out, spring break is one week away. If you want to hear our travel advice, go over to uh, rta.space and listen to episode 40, Go Exploring, Not Touring. Yep! Now, we have three announcements. Number one, a new Amazon show, or Amazon Kids original show, has been announced. It's called The Dangerous Book for Boys. And it's about uh, three boys whose dad dies while on some sort of a mission, and he leaves them this book. Um, with, I already know. I already know. He didn't die. Well, I think it's, 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 I think from watching the trailer, which we did a couple minutes or I guess half an hour before recording this, I think magic exists in this universe. But, you know. No. It's called imagination in their thing. Probably. But yeah, uh, if you want to check the trailer out, it's kind of hard to explain what the premise is. Basically, they get this book with a bunch of of activities to do that sort of help them remember and get closer to their father, who at the time is is dead, apparently, according to the trailer. You can go check out the trailer in our show notes at rta.space slash 47. Also, this episode marks our two-year anniversary with the podcast. No. Well, I guess last week's episode. It was February... uh... 14 was our... Yeah. We we just forgot to talk about... Oh, I forgot to talk about it uh, in episode 46. So, yeah. Two-year anniversary. I can't believe we've been doing this long. It's just... Wow. Yep. And last piece of announcements. If we sound a little different this week, it's because we got new mics. And we may not sound as good as normal because I tried to set these mics up in, in um, the way we used to, but, you know, the new stands don't work the same way, so... We're try- I'm going to be trying some different configurations over the next few weeks, so hopefully we sound great. Stop using big words. Um, communicate. Commu- commu- com- com- I was going to sing the Martha Speaks thing Does that song. mean eat? No, it's eat means eat. Consume means eat. Oh. Okay. Well, speaking of that, thought of the week. What do you have? Why can't you go first? Okay, fine. So last week, uh, Sophia said, was talking about, you know, the different, what if, movie companies release the different sides of movies, right? Like from yeah. the villain's perspective and from the superhero's perspective. Well, what if a mute supervillain would be extremely successful since most supervillains' failure is due to them talking too much? What do you mean? Yeah, as in, like, they're not able to speak. You know, I don't know. How is that their failure? Well, because sometimes, like, they, they exploit their entire plan by, like, speaking out. They're like, I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do this, and I'll take over the world. And then, you know, sort of spoils their entire plan. Okay, those are the villains who say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're saying a supervillain would be oh, extremely oh, successful if they were mute. 
You said superhero. Oh, sorry. Well, yeah, that's what it is. Because think of like Buddy or what? What's his name? Sphero in, in the Incredibles, which very excited for Incredibles. Okay, I'm pretty sure his name was Super Buddy. Yeah, I think or it was Buddy. Babysitter or something like that. No, the Babysitter. The Babysitter is the kid from the end. Do you ever see that meme about they they found someone who looks just like the the babysitter from the Incredibles? Babysitter is Buddy. Well, no, there was the other one. It's like Mrs. Incredible. Something's oh. happening. Oh yeah. Your son is on fire. Anyway, yeah, that's my thought of the week. What do you have? So people who are turning eighteen today will be turning twenty two on two twenty two twenty twenty two. So if you know anybody who has a birthday. Today. The and 26th of... Specifically 18. Wait, wait. Are you speaking as in the day of this release or the day this is being recorded? The day this is being recorded. Okay. So what? what's today's the Monday, February 22nd. Now on to learn a word. This week, Sophia and I both had words. Or at least, I hope we do. What do you have? The word is kume. Or kume. Or kubi. C-U-M-A-E. Does this have anything to do with kumbaya? I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming no. It's that song that they sang in that Adventures in Odyssey episode where, uh, what was her face? Robin goes and she, to like the retirement home. She sings kumbaya, I'm a lord. And then at the end they're like, let's give her a retirement home, thank you. And just like one person clapping. And then someone wakes up and is like, it's over. Hey, John, it's over. We can go back to our rooms now. Uh, I don't know. Well, is that what it is? It's an ancient town in Italy on the Tyrrhenian coast. The more you know. My word this week is for Sophia. It's Dysania. D-Y-S-A-N-I-A. Dysania. A state of finding it hard to get out of bed in the morning. Oh, my new favorite word. You gotta put it on a t-shirt. How do you spell it again? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's like, it's like, Dysand A. Sort of. It's, it's like Dysani water. Well, it's D-Y-S-A-N-I-A. I just put the water bottle on a shirt. <laughs> yeah, just put the water bottle thing. It'll be in the show notes if you want to link to it. The shirt? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> we don't sell merch. <laughs> we, we should, but we don't. So, now into joke time. We're going to sort of cut back on the amount of jokes we're doing because, according to our audience retention rates, some of you guys skip them. Most likely probably because, because, you know, the rate of the quality of these jokes has been going downhill since, like, episode 20 because we've run out of all the good ones. Okay. If you're here for the yodeling lesson, please form an orderly, 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 cordly cue. That was just to get all the groans out of the way. Beautiful. Amazing, spectacular, 10 out of 10. What do we learn from elephants, cows, and buffaloes? Hmm. That it's impossible to reduce your body weight by eating green grass and salads and walking. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, yeah. we got to put that up in, like, those diet places where you go to, get, you know. Okay, okay. You know, right, people... Like, put it in super salad. Yeah. Why does Waldo wear stripes? Because he doesn't want to be spotted. Ah, uh, how old is that joke? Well, the fact that you've said it twice on the show. Yeah. I have? Yeah. Oh. So, technically, you can go the rest of your life without eating. No. Tell me how that's true. Because you could die right now? Close. You'd starve to death, but technically that was the rest of your life. So. Alright, makes sense. Boom. There you go. You know, it, uh, we we were going to talk about this a while back, but you know it was illegal in Italy or something for you to to put your child on a diet? Anyway, did you hear about the two guys who stole a calendar? They wanted dates. Nah, they each got six months. Oh, ha. Huh. It says, I had a sign in my room once that said laugh, but the L and the A fell off, so now it just says, uh. <laughs> you just, like, walk in the room and it goes, ah. Oh. Uh, that, that would be a that would be a great Reddit post. Cleaning mirrors is a job I can really see myself doing. Mirrors. Mirrors. Sorry about my accent. Being an adult is having the we have food at home talk with yourself. 
Yep. Okay, that's it for joke time. I sort of cut out today I learned from the show, but I thought I'd bring it back for this week. You know, occasionally I bring back old segments just to talk about something interesting I found. So, today I learned, in 1856, an American clipper, which is sort of like a boat thing, was approaching Cape Horn when its captain collapsed, leaving his wife to navigate through one of the world's deadliest sea passages. She commanded for 56 days, faced down a mutiny, and navigated the clipper ship into San Francisco. Now, I wasn't going to bring this up, I just saw it, I was like, oh, that's interesting, but I started thinking about it. And doesn't that sound like the plot to the Gordimer episode where Mel finds out that Captain Normal was like the codename for the woman that actually founded Normal Street? Um, I don't know. Because it was like the painting and then they realized that it wasn't just like, it wasn't just a man with long hair. It was actually a woman who founded a cap- uh, that founded Normal Street. Anyway, okay. I heard that. Thought maybe David got the idea for writing that episode from here. Thought it was mm-hmm. interesting. Well, now on to topic time. We're going to do something that we've been sort of putting off for like about 15 to 20 episodes we've been meaning to talk about this. And that is what are some of our favorite old TV shows? We sort of watch, I mean, we have been watching a lot of old TV for a while. Like back when we had a TV, um, like we could only pick up the, the digital broadcasted channels. We couldn't, we didn't have cable or anything. And one of the only channels we could pick up was this channel called Cozy and this other one called Antenna, which both broadcasted old 60s, 50s, and sometimes 70s TV shows. Most of them were, were of the 40s, 50s, and 60s. And from there, we've sort of picked out some of our favorites from those. And we're going to go over either, I don't know, how many, how many did you get for yours? I got four because I, like, gave up trying to rack my brain for the fifth one. Yeah, because we, we only, like, picked a hand a handful, a couple that we would actually watch. I uh, picked out five myself, but I'm going to well, go... Well, like, we only watched a little bit of them because the other ones, like, we wouldn't understand it because we were, like, four and six. Yeah. Well... Like, I watched them from the age of, like, five... Well, yeah, never mind, it was five. Uh, five to like eight or nine, and then after that we stopped, and then like I started again, like when I was like eleven. See, some of my my first memories of the TV were just like sitting down and eating cottage cheese and rice with like onion inside powder. of a PVC pipe house. Yeah, and blankets and... over it, pillows inside, and then watching TV like watching Clifford. Or something. Yeah, and sometimes we would watch Antenna. I think. But I'm going to, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go down from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, just like to our top one, if you want yeah. to do that too. So uh, what's your number four? Dennis the Menace. Oh, I forgot about that. Yep. Uh, you know, I liked that one. I, I should have put that on my list. Well, I guess I'll give it an honorable mention. Yeah. yeah. I always like it when he would go next door. Uh, what was the neighbor's name? I don't know, but he was like the Mr. Curry of it. Yeah, it was like, Mr. Whatever, Mom's doing this or whatever. And he's like, Dennis, just go home. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember always messing up his front lawn. Yeah, yeah. Or his roof or something. My number five is The Little Rascals. The reason why I'm putting it at number... Oh, you know what? You know what? I'll put, I'll put The Little Rascals at my five. Okay, yeah. And then Dennis the Mess at four. Yeah, the reason why I'm putting it at five, though, and not higher up, is because recently they've been, like, taken down from the public and then re-released, and they cut out a lot of the stuff that nowadays is sort of deemed, like, not politically correct, I guess you could say, because, you know, they were shot in the 1920s and 30s, um, and they, I mean, they don't look good when they're in color. They're made yeah, for they black and white. weird. Yeah, and, and they've recolored them and re-released them, so, like, what, that Fly My Kite episode, you know that one? Yeah. With the bail bond stuff. That was like a 30 minute episode. They cut it down to eight minutes uh, and they colorized it and they cut out all the stuff like our favorite parts when him running around the, the back lot. They cut all that stuff out. Uh, and it's it's not really as funny anymore if you're watching all the re-released ones. But you yeah, know, it's still I, it's still there. We're talking about like the old version. Yeah. Some of the silent film era stuff is that's really good as well. So that we can keep on track at the same time, I'll do my number four, and then you can go to your number three. Okay. So my number four is The Andy Griffith Show. And 
maybe I, I might have put this higher if I watched more, but right now I've only seen two episode two episodes because they recently put it on Amazon Prime. Um, you, Sophia, you ever heard me watching it, and you seem to like it as well. Yeah, but I never watched it. I just heard some of it. Yeah. I, I started watching it because uh, Don Knotts, I believe that's his name, was in it. <laughs> the person who plays Hermie, or no, the person who plays Wormy from Hermie and Friends, um, are one of our favorite animated shows. And when I found out that those two people actually work together in real life, you know, from the Apple Dumpling Gang and stuff, I was like, wow, these people actually have this stuff. But yeah. And you go for the show, number four. What's your number three? And number three is The Three Stooges. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Again, it's also been re-released and recut recently, but yeah. thankfully they still, you know, still sort of the same. It's more of, they're, they're more of physical comedy than, than, you know, speaking comedy. Uh-huh. But it's still funny. I love I don't know. The great debate between me and Sophia on the Three Stooges is whether Shemp or Curly were better. I don't know. They're both equally great, but in different ways. Hmm. I I preferred Curly, but then after watching Shemp for a while, I sort of, you know, was like, you know what? Maybe he's funnier because Shemp talked more than Curly did. Yeah, but it was it, that was what made it funny. Yeah, Shemp had a lot of funny one-liners here and there. But, you know, couldn't get over Curly's that going, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'll have like that on this show. And then I edit it back and listen. I'm like, I'm laughing like Curly. Okay. My number three is Father Knows Best. Wait, I thought your number three was Three Stooges. No, no. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you where my Three Stooges are. Oh, okay. Yeah, my number three is Father Knows Best. And I'm sort of going to lump in the radio show as well because they're – the radio show did come first, but a lot of the radio show episodes were converted into TV episodes later yeah. on, which it, it's interesting to see how they how they did that as well. And I'm I'm not sure. Where, do you know if the voice actors are the same people that, that were on the TV show? I think I'm pretty sure that the dad the dad is yeah. the same. Yeah, Robert Young's the and same. And Bud is the same. Mm. And Betty, I think she's the same, but I think Kathy was different like after a while i oh, actually i think bud is different because i remember when we first started listening to the radio show after watching the tv show we were like what's wrong with bud's voice oh yeah yeah but i mean then again it could just be the microphone yeah because it was a while before but yeah I, I, father knows best good i mean we i mean we make jokes about it all the time like earlier in the show you heard me talking about post him like yeah post him with a hot post wheat meal or the what was it the post bran flakes Mm. Or the Maxwell coffee, always good to the last drop. And in our Thanksgiving episode this year, we opened up with the theme song. So yeah, Father Knows Best, number three. Now, what's your number two? My number two is Father Knows Best. Okay, yeah. And my number two is the Three Stooges, like she said before. Oh, okay. I I liked the writing on that show, writing out all the all the comedy, and how they could still tell the story without you know showing it a lot or without speaking. It was like it was still progressing. Yeah. What's your number one? I think we have the same number one. It's Leave It to Beaver. Yeah, yeah, same here. I put Leave It to Beaver as number one. It's just that like we went on a huge Leave It to Beaver binge for like weeks. It's like the only thing. No, we were I think it was months. Yeah, because was... I watched. I think I watched every single season. Yes. Yeah. I've missed Except a couple. For maybe like what one, one season. Yeah, and I mean my favorite character. I think we have the same favorite character, right? I like Beaver and all his friends because they're like you know they're great and whatever, and then but like Eddie Haskell is like, yeah. Yeah, same. Eddie Haskell is my favorite. It's like I think I think we we because we haven't we watched Leave It to Beaver when I was like, eleven or twelve. Yeah, I think so. Well, we had an episode a while back where we opened up. We're like, we're the true Eddie Haskells of podcasting. Like, yeah, <laughs> this is we were totally different. Yeah. Anyways, like oh hello, Mrs. Cleaver. Yeah. Walks out. What's going on, shrimp? Yeah. <laughs> um, they had a, a '90s remake. Funny line for us. Like, this isn't a church social, people. This is your job. Yeah. To pay third graders to get ba- better labor than you. Uh, but my favorite episode of Leave It to Beaver, the original, is the one where um him and Gilbert get in the car in Wally's car. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like, Linda, sit down, roll the window, don't stick your head out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they drive it into the street and cause a traffic jam. And Gilbert's like, Well, I'm gone. <laughs> Oh, there's. There, I will leave a link to that that clip in, on YouTube in the show notes at rta dot space slash uh, forty seven if you want to watch that. Yeah, uh-huh. I think it's it's a great show. 
And you know, um, the guy who plays Beaver still alive. I think he's still he's doing still doing some shows. Didn't they make like a, a Leave It to Beaver, but like was it grandson or something? Yeah, that was the that was the '90s movie remake one. I'm I'm not actually sure if it was a, a movie or a TV show. I think it was a movie. Sure. Yeah, it might have been a movie. But that was with um, Beaver and Beaver's kids and Wally and Wally's kids, and then but their their mother is like the grandma, and the show focused on their kids. Uh. Well, those are our <laughs> top five. <laughs> and then somehow Eddie becomes the uncle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like Eddie, what are you doing? <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it's, it's it's a great show. So, those are our top five. Um, out out of all of those, what would you set as your recommendation of the week? If you want some short and funny stuff, go watch the Three Stooges. Mm-hmm. And then, if you want like you know some nice quality like um, storytelling that has comedy in it, watch Leave It to Beaver. And if you want Father Knows Best, it's just, that's the best. It's the yeah, best. Yeah, it's good. I've it's, cried. Uh, what I that. thought, what I, wait, hold on, we're right there. Um, what I always re- realize is that it's called Father Knows Best, but usually at the end of most episodes, the father ends up being wrong and he realizes that he doesn't know best all the time. But he sort of learns how to be, how to know it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, on on Father Knows Best, I've cried one too many times on those episodes, especially the Let It Rain one. Yeah. Well, I don't. It was a bus to nowhere. I think it was. Yeah. yeah. It's like Let It Rain. Let it, I don't even know the context to what it was, but all I know is I just walk around. It's like Let It Rain, Let It Rain, and the um, I don't know. I think it was the Christmas or Thanksgiving special episode where um Bud gets a job at the hamburger shop, and the guy fires him and. He gives him his check, and then Bud just turns around, walks outside, and then goes back up to the counter. He's like, I'll take a burger. <laughs> yeah. My recommendation of the week is, is going to have to be the the Andy Griffith show. Or, you know what? I'm going to change the last minute. You can still check that out. But go watch that that clip of um, Beaver and, and Gilbert in the car on YouTube. That is absolutely hilarious. All right. Well, thanks for listening this week. If this is your first time, please subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or anywhere else podcasts are available. You can get a link for all of our destinations and locations at rta.space slash listen. If you have any suggestions for our show, you want to send us some jokes, something you want us to talk about it, you can talk about, you can email us rocket to anywhere show at gmail.com or tweet at us at RTA show on Twitter. You can also DM us on Instagram at rocket to anywhere show notes for this week's episode anything we talked about any episodes you mentioned all there on our website rta.space slash 47 well sophia had to step out because she's about to go teach a taekwondo class so until then (laughs) we'll be back next week to discuss the new remake of a wrinkle of time which i'm very excited for and hopefully hopefully it turns out great i'm hoping it turns out well but you know till next week have a great day (laughs) 